Good morning and welcome back to KSNT News here on your Wednesday morning. We are now just less than three weeks away from the midterm elections. Hard to believe that. Yep. One of the key races, of course, here in the state of Kansas is for Secretary of State. This morning I'm here with candidate Rob Hodgkinson. Good morning. Morning. Thank you for being here. Well, thanks for having me. I, I appreciate it muchly. Absolutely. Well, uh, you have a very interesting history. You've held a lot of different job titles over the years. Give us an idea about who you are and what led, led up to the candidacy today? Well, I ran for Secretary of State back in 2006, so this is not my first rodeo, if you, if you talk about it. I've worked in elections for a long time. Um, I'm a fifth generation Kansan. I w was born in Pratt, um, raised outside of Hutchinson, Bueller High School. Uh, went to K State, majored in electrical engineering technology. So um, that background has phased into the, the, the other things that I do. I'm married today, three grown children, they're all in the house, <laughs> and um, um, seven grandchildren. Um, so I've got the two fur babies um, that keep me hopping and then up early in the morning. Oh yes, absolutely. And then of course you, your history. You've run for public office five different times, and you're a life member of the Libertarian Party. Correct. And I was the state chair for the party for seven years, okay. uh, record seven years. Nobody else has held the office for more than four. Okay. Um, since I was became the state chair the first time in in 2005. Um, the Libertarian Party on the voters rolls have grown every single year okay. so we've, we've been growing it's been steady it's not been like the Reform Party that popped went crazy with with good old Ross Perot and then disappeared we've been having steady growth consistently for the last 11 12 years and how do you think your experience makes you the best candidate for well Secretary I'm State? running because I believe I've got the best uh, overall resume of the three candidates running um, I've got experience in all three areas that I think are really important for the Secretary of State's office. One of them is uh, IT. I've got the IT background. Uh, I was in charge of a company's entire enterprise. So I built the servers, I built the desktops, I helped the CEO, I helped the people in the plant and everybody in between. So I've got a good idea of what we're up against with computers in the elections today. Second part of that is I'm a small businessman. Um, I owned a small business in uh, 2007 that was a remodeling business. We actually tripled our business during the recession. Um, today I'm a real estate agent and uh, have that real estate business. So I'm used to the Secretary of State from the customer side um, in business filings and that part of the that we have to do as Secretary of State. The third part is elections. I've been actually, you know, as you talked about, I've run for office multiple times, but um, I've been very active in, in elections as I've testified multiple times in front of uh, the legislature. Um, you may remember back in 2017 when Pompeo bailed on Kansas, we had to change the special election law to actually allow all political parties in. Other, the, the old law was so that you could only have a Republican and a Democrat. Well, I was the catalyst to make that change. So we did get that change. The Libertarian did run and we lowered the requirements so an independent doesn't have to have so many signatures. It was outrageous. Now real quick, we're running out of time here, but uh, what are your key issues? What's well, your platform? Um, I'd love to see um, ranked choice voting. Um, I would, would like the four big counties that currently are appointed by the election commissioners are appointed by Secretary of State. I would like to see those um, be locally elected. Um, we need to take the politics out of the completely out of the Secretary of State's office because partisanship doesn't belong there. I'm not wearing the uniform of one of the two big teams, and so for disputes, that's I can be fair for Kansas, not just for a political party. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, being well, with us for this having morning. Me. I really appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. From there, we're going to head on over to our weather forecast with meteorologist David George.